It just feels so good. We had our first leg day of two of the week. I am still going to Planet Fitness early mornings for leg day so I can utilize the heavy stuff that I don't have in the home gym in the garage that I'm doing for push and pull. We went up on weight significantly on things. I said last week that I felt like I was holding back on some stuff and I definitely am and we've come such a long way though since fall. So I've had a couple of y'all comment on the weight that I am lifting and compared to what I was lifting into the fall, compared to what I was lifting in January, progressive overload, overload. Okay, so we have definitely gone up. It's so important for you to track your workouts, your reps, your weights, sets, all that thing so you can each week try to beat yourself. So that's like the goal for me. I look at my, my notes and I'm like, how can I beat myself today? Can I go up in a rep? Can I go up in poundage? What can I do to progressively overload and beat myself from last time I was in here doing the same exact thing? And today, wow, especially on the big leg press, which I was worried about because as y'all know, at Planet Fitness, we only have one freaking leg press. And even at 4 a.m., yes, everybody and their mama is still fighting over that damn leg press. They had a bunch of people on it. I was able to sneak in and I was able to do six plates of 45s today which is a new PR for me and that might seem like nothing to some of you guys but I have been like definitely struggling to get to that point so to get to that today and to be able to do five reps times four sets was absolutely amazing and just showing me that yes I am stronger than I give myself credit for but I'm in no rush here like I want to do things with proper form I want to take things slow progressively overload and we'll 
get there, y'all. We'll get there. We're in no rush. This is no race. This is a fitness and health journey. So we don't need to go crazy with putting like 12 plates on the leg press and saying, oh, I was able to get one, whatever. I want to do proper form. I want to be able to have that mind muscle connection. I want to feel it. I want to feel that burn and make sure that we're working these muscle groups properly. So me bragging about weight, I could give a care less as long as I am lifting heavy and progressively overloading each and every week and beating myself. It is you versus you all day, every day. Don't compare yourself to other people and everybody's individualized too and needs to do what's best for them as far as weightlifting and nutrition. Also worked a little bit on the tricep game since I was there, assisted dips and I went up on reps today for those. So anytime I'm in Planet Fitness, I'm gonna try to work on those. Didn't do any pull-ups today. I'm just running short on time. Gotta be home before the hubby leaves to go to work so I can watch the kids, mom life, all the things. So we have the new pull-up bar at the house. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen that and man, they are freaking hard as far as the wide grip wins, I can do one and I'm like dusted. So I don't know. I don't I think I'm too close to the ground. It's a whole different ball game as far as like your form, trying to, to feel right and all that good stuff. So we'll do, I can do the, the narrow grip wins just fine. So I'll do a couple of narrow grip wins just to keep working that muscle each and every day. Feeling awesome though. Those Rice Krispie treats, guys, do not sleep on those. I mean, so many people dog them, but I'm telling you, I don't know if it's placebo or not, and I don't really give a crap, but they freaking have been making me go hard as far as leg day goes. So your girl's gonna keep eating them for 80 calories. Hells to the yes. I hope you are starting today in a positive mindset, guys. Just show up. Even if you feel like ish, even if you don't want to go, just show up and put something in. Something is better than you making the decision not to show up and just sitting your ass on the couch or just staying at home. If you go in and do a 15, 30 minute workout, it's better than doing zero. So stop beating yourself up because you think that you're not going hard enough, you think that you're not doing enough. That's much better than you making the decision not to do anything, period. 723, I am next level starving. Like my stomach is growling. That's how hungry I am right now. So this is Elise Ellis's cheddar bacon egg mushroom casserole that she posted on her Instagram. Stuff from her Instagram should be trickling into the app if you are doing the monthly meal plan. It should be coming soon. Her newer Instagram one should be coming soon when I talk to them because some of them are not there that are new. The old ones are there. So this is a serving. So just for this is 313 calories, 32 grams of protein here for it. I've got some G Hughes ketchup on top. I've got some strawberries, blueberries, some fresh fruit on the side. And I want to talk about my coffee because I mentioned in last week's weekly vlog, this has been game changer because I cannot find the like Alani New, any of the shakes, but this tastes so much better. I'm telling you guys, if you have a ton of protein powder on hand, quit buying the shakes unless you're like needing them for the go. But this is where it's at. So I put my coffee that I brew over ice, about eight, nine ounces. And then I take 177 mils of cashew milk. You can use almond milk, whatever you want. And then 14 to 15 grams of your protein powder. And I put that in my Ninja Bullet. I blend it up really well, pour it over, and it's so delicious. The snickerdoodle tastes so good. Right now I'm using the Community Toasted Marshmallow. A lot of y'all asked me on Instagram how I liked it. I like this combo a lot. It's really, really good. But the snickerdoodle, I feel like, pairs with almost all coffees. So PE Science, I have in Burgess, gets you a discount with all the things. Y'all know I take the pre-workout stack, the creatine. But this protein powder, I'm telling you, is so, so good. Macros on it are fire. But with the little we're using, you're getting a ton of protein. 12 grams of protein for only 53 calories. So you cannot beat that. So everything you see for this first meal of the day, minus the Rice Krispie treat, is 462 calories, 46 grams of protein, 46 carbs, and 11 grams of fat. Definitely hit the spot for this casserole. I don't know, I think I might have cooked it. I cooked it way over the time she suggested because my egg whites just were not cooking right. It's a little dry, not gonna lie, but I, that that's my fault, I think. But it definitely tastes good with the ketchup. And she also takes this and puts this in some like low carb tortillas and makes like breakfast tacos with this. 
So that might be good too. But the bacon and the Canadian bacon in it, spot on fire. So it's delicious flavor wise. It's just far as texture. I wouldn't cook it as long next time and then it will sit and it will like cook as it sits. You know what I'm saying? After you take it out of the oven. My mistake, not Elise's, but highly recommend. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going in with a morning snack and some caffeine. So on my early morning leg days, I am allowing myself a bang only on those days and I stocked up on my favorite flavors. A whole lot of pina colada is probably my number one. I've got a sweet and spicy chunk light tuna pouch by great value, 15 grams of protein, 80 calories, and one of the Quaker caramel rice cakes for 50 calories. So 130 calories, 16 grams of protein, 15 carbs, zero fat and some caffeine until lunchtime. 12.42, it's lunchtime. We've been outside for over an hour having water fun. Summer has started here at our house. Boys have been out of school since last Friday. And we've got lunch on repeat from yesterday, which you didn't see. This is Elise Ellis's tuna melt. So it's just her tuna fish. And then she says to add whatever toppings. I did a piece of fat-free cheese. That's what I have on hand. One tablespoon of the Bold House Classic Farms dressing. And we are doing these pita breads, which if you watch my grocery haul, they look pretty sad. They're all crumbled up. And I'm trying to salvage the ones on the back that are good. We've got 30 grams of the pretzel crisp. This is the honey mustard and onion. Love this one. You can get it from Thrive Market. And then we've got 100 about 150 grams of strawberries for a total of 462 calories, 49 grams of protein, 57 carbs, and seven grams of fat. Those tuna melts are so freaking satisfying and hearty, big portions, high volume, all about it. And also I've already drank one of my hydro jugs, almost killed this and I filled it up almost to the brim, but I added my electrolytes by Redmond's. We're doing the watermelon lime is my number one, hands down. It's my favorite, especially for summer. So good, pina colada would be my second for summer feels. And I just got my order in and Burgess gets you a discount with all things. I have a link down below. And man, that hit the spot. I've got enough to make one more this week. It's so basic and easy, guys, but when you add it on the pita with the cheese and with the ranch, it just elevates it to a whole nother level. working on some pull-ups on our pull-up bar at the house. I will link it in the description box. I just got it off of Amazon, but so far, so good. It's definitely different than the ones at the gym, like I mentioned, but we're getting the hang of it. I don't know about the wide ones, but the other ones, we're getting them and we're working on them. Snack time. I'm ravenous today, these early morning days. I'm like hungry all day, and I'm allotting that for lots of snacks, as you guys have seen throughout the day, so I'm not like starving from meal to meal, and I've got an apple. I took the core out, and it is 70 calories for that. We've got a bag of the Lesser Evil Popcorn for 50 calories. Total of 128 calories, one protein, 28 carbs, two fat. 415, these are not cooked yet, but don't they look beautiful as is? These are Elise Ellis's Ham and Cheese Breakfast Enchiladas with like a homemade cream sauce on top. It's got eggs, Canadian bacon inside, cheese, cheese on top. I mean, these look fire. Cannot wait. So these are going in the oven for 30 minutes. Wolf this down before baseball game. It's about five o'clock. We've got the Ham and Cheese Breakfast Enchiladas out the oven. We've got 200 grams of fresh strawberries for a total of 389 calories, 36 grams of protein, 43 carbs, and 15 grams of fat. Leon's baseball game got rescheduled because of rain, so we'll have a little while until our dessert. We've got to eat dessert early tonight because I'm going to do that fasted blood work tomorrow. If you watched last week's vlog, you know, so I'll be doing everything a little bit early tonight. So real life with tracking and macros. So I was way off on the macros because when I made the custom recipe in my first form app, y'all been asking what app I use first form and I'll put the link down below. I think it gets you off something, but I love it for tracking so much. I highly recommend you also can get an advisor on here that like talks with you real time. My girl Jen is an advisor on first form. So I highly recommend that other apps don't offer. So it's well worth the money in my opinion, if you're looking for something to get you set for your health journey. But 
I had it set to six servings and there's clearly eight tortillas. So it was eight servings. So the real macros for what I ate was 308 calories, big difference, 27 grams of protein, 36 carbs and 11 fat. So that's going to make us way under our calorie goal for today, but it's okay. Cause that was so good. Highly recommend these enchiladas. They are bomb. Like I'm plugging them in for lunch and stuff now, clearing things out of my first form app and making room because they are so good and so low calorie. Like cannot believe how delicious they are for what it is. So we're going to have our dessert in a little bit and that's going to be a wrap. I'm not going to plug anything else in there to like hit the macros. Totally fine. Tomorrow's a rest day. We'll make up for it tomorrow and just keep on keeping on. But guys, real life right there. We all make mistakes. It's okay. 11 o'clock, never skip dessert. Remember, I got to eat dessert a little bit earlier so I can get a good fasted reading for my oh. blood panel work. We've got three of the caramel Quaker rice cakes. We've got uh, right under 80 grams of sliced banana. And then I'm doing the new breakfast in bed today when I'm filming this. So go check out their website. Definitely need the squeeze, squeeze the day, the lemon win. And the cookie butter one are my favorites. This is the peanut butter one, the breakfast in bed. It's got pecans in it. It's maple infused. The peanut butter by itself is good. They're all good. It's just which, which ones you like more than the others. And those two I just mentioned are my favorites out of the collection. But you see, I'm eating this one right now. Everything you see here is 321 calories, 8 grams of protein, 54 carbs, and 8 grams of fat. I have a direct link down below that will get you a discount with All American Dream. And I have an American Dream favorites that I'm going to update. But go check that out if you are brand new and you don't know what I'm talking about. My favorites that most of them are on the website are in that video. We surpassed our 10,000 steps. Your girl is next level tired. We've been up for like 17 hours. What is our life? Macros today, we did 1894 cows. A little bit shy than what I usually do because we had that mess up for dinner. It's all good. I will tell you, I'm a little bit hungry. My stomach's growling going to bed. We've got those fasted labs in the morning. So we're just going to eat a big old breakfast when we get back from doing our blood work. I have something in mind that I am so excited about. 147 grams of protein, 251 carbs, and 42 grams of fat for our Tuesday. First leg day of the week, going into a rest day. Labs, busy freaking week, y'all. So that's gonna do it for this a full day of eating. This is actually days later filming this outro. I am filming a what I eat in a day that will post on Monday. Motivational Monday set and ready for you guys. And I have a at home push day. The first time I've done an at home push day, I filmed it all, got it all, and telling you all the feels and also updating you on that blood work. I already got the results in y'all. Stay tuned on Monday. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope these videos are helpful with food, nutrition, macros, workouts, all the things. And if they are, I am just so blessed to do what I do on a daily basis. If y'all ever have any questions about anything, and most of you already do, but for any newbies, definitely follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM. I'd be happy to answer any questions or any concerns that you have along your health journey. We are all in this to win this together. No matter what your journey looks like, it can look completely different from mine, from Sheila down the street, whoever. Nobody needs to be comparing each other, guys. You do what's best for you. It goes along with your nutrition and your exercise and your fitness. There is no one size fits all when your health journey is concerned. Do what's best for you as long as you are conscious of what you are putting in your body, how you're fueling your body and moving your body, you're going to win overall. I hope y'all have an awesome day. I hope y'all have a good Memorial Day weekend. If you uh, indulge, look, I'm going to be indulging. We are going to see Top Gun tomorrow. We are going to a swanky bougie restaurant. I'm going to be eating my nut butter. Stranger Things premiere comes out. When you're watching today, why are you even watching me? <laughs> Go and watch Stranger Things. Oh my gosh. My sister and I are having like a little slumber party. I'm going to be eating all the shamrock and nut butter. You know I am. And then Sunday, we're having a barbecue at my sister. So look, I'm going to be right there with you guys. I'm going to be eating all the things, but I'm going to not go off the rails. So my plan always is to prioritize protein throughout the day and make sure that I am eating. So I'm not like overly ravenous. So when we do go to these events, I don't binge on things and we just make the best choices that we can while still enjoying ourselves, guys. You shouldn't feel deprived, but you don't have to overdo it 
it to as well, if that makes sense. A fine line, a fine balance. And if you do go off the rails and you got flies flying around like I got going on right now in the country, it's okay. Just get right back on the horse on Monday with your protein tracking and fitness. And guess what? All that's water weight anyway. You've got to eat about 15,000 calories over your maintenance to gain one pound of fat. So if you get on the scale today and it says you weigh six pounds heavier, it's six pounds of bloat and water. Just drink your water, move your body, track everything in your app, and it will come off in the next day or two and you'll be right back on track. It's all good. You did not gain all that fat, girl. Quit getting in your head. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the weekend, enjoy your day, and we'll see you in Monday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye, y'all.